What up, YouTube? Broke Farmer for another live. And on today, before we get into all that, if you are watching the replay, I like to do start, you know, some of these live with a little inspirational word. And since today is Sunday, uh, biblically speaking, faith without works is dead. Meaning, you can have all the faith in the world that everything gonna work out and everything gonna be right. But if you ain't willing to put that work in, it, it's not gonna happen. So while you working and you feel you feel like you got that good faith that everything gonna work out, you gotta put that work in. And faith plus work equals success. Good, good. All right, let me let me say hi to a couple people in here. Go back to the top. The first person in the building. And there. Homestead, Miss MVP. I broke from him on the road, but still will still be listening. Just listen. Don't take, don't take some drive. African dreaming in the building said, We're here, fam. Let's get it. All day. All day. So Louise said, buffering. Hello, everyone. You ain't buffering. You right where you need to be at. It might, it might have one click, but everything will come out. Container crop said, waiting. Hey, I ain't no more waiting. We in here. Shell pain. New art garden. What's up, new art in the building? So, and there, you sure you do a lot of tra you sure do a lot of traveling lately. And they got places to go and people to see. Happy poem lady in the building. Hey, hey, I like that uh thumbnail, not thumbnail pick. What's the pick called? Whatever the pick called. I like that. All right, so I'm looking at myself. Pretty cool. We're ready to roll. Yankee's sister homestead in the building. Say well, hello, Cub Broke Farm and hello, fam. Uh let me see. Kelly Homestead with Pooh Bear in the building. Say it's broke in the building. I'm definitely in the building, Pooh Bear. Matter of fact, who got coming? I'm in the building. Come on, it's all right. Big cool right here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Big cool right here for you. Hoyt Robinson in the building. She say hello, y'all. Hey, Hoyt, how you doing? Lavender for look is in the building. What's up, Lavender for look? Hey, fam, that's fam right there. Lavender for look. Say, hey, bro. Sifting on some sizzle. Fifty-five in the building. Glad to have you in here. My cousin, your cousin, Tammy, is definitely in the building. Hey, y'all go check out Tammy on Instagram. Tammy got a pretty cool Instagram. She's doing some things out there in the yard. Tammy, now, uh, can you do me a favor? Can you put your Instagram? I don't know. Everybody don't want all the Instagram. If you if you don't mind, people come over and check out your garden on Instagram. You put your Instagram link down in the chat. You don't mind? I mean, I mean you know, you don't mind. Black's Tropical Homestead in the building. Um, and if you didn't know, they will be hosting the Saw Expo 2022 this year in Savannah, Georgia. Did y'all hear me right? Savannah, Georgia. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know. Yeah, don't worry about it. But it's going to be great. I'm going to be down there hanging out. And, uh, Hopefully, in a little while, I'll let uh, either Bobby or Sherry come up and talk about the uh, Saw Expo 2022. Am I saying that right? Saw Expo 2022? It's fine right in my head. I don't know. Let me know. But hopefully, they'll come up and give you some more good information. Maybe not, because they're watching and listening. Okay. Well, maybe they get to a stop somewhere, and we'll see if they can come up and talk about it. Dragon Queen number one in the building. That's my cuz, your cuz. That's all our cuz. Happy Mac, y'all in the building. Say, hey, y'all, happy Sunday. What's up, Happy Mac? Meditate with D in the building. Say, blessings, all blessings to you. G Mama Grows in the building. If you don't know who G Mama Grows is, go over there on Instagram and check out G Mama Grows and see how G Mama Grows do the Instagram reel. Real, real, and videos over there. 
G Mama killing over there on Instagram, y'all. Y'all go check it out. Say hello, Brooke Mama Internet Cousins. Zone 6A in the building. That, I, I feel like that's how she said it. I feel like when she typed it. And on my, you know how you typing and you talking? Am I the only one talk, talk to yourself and take? Don't worry about it. I felt like that's how she was saying it. Uh, Mary Ellen Sunflower Girl in the building. I love that little dog. Glad to have you here, Mary Ellen. Growing with Hudson. My cousin, your cousin, growing with Hudson in the building. Hey, up, broke farmer and chat. What up? My roll out and rain. What up, roll out and rain? Good to have you in here. So check my fruit trees. Two died during the winter. R.I.P. Trying not to let it get me down. Thinking I'll get grapes here. Look, I believe you're going to get grapes, my, my roll out and reds. I really believe you're going to get grapes. It's that faith. Faith that they're going to work out. Put that work in. Put some of that good fertilizer on it. And she gonna show up. And I call all fruit and plants she because only females can produce offspring. So I call all plants, whether scientifically correct or not, I call all plants <laughs> she or her. And they'll sit back and forth with the grand. Hey, that's cool. And they'll take care of your business. Pit stop kitchen and garden in the building. What's up? Good morning, broken chat. Oh, it's morning to you. And chat in these streets, but stop by to say hi and hit the thumbs up. That's what it's all about. Just, just stop in. Just stop in and say what's up. And if y'all don't know who Pit Stop Kitchen and Garden is, look at him. When she say kitchen, Mr. P is what we like to call him, a chef P in the YouTube streets. He's chefing it up. And Pitts, uh, Mrs. Pitts, having the garden part. So she growing this stuff, and Mr. P, or Chef P, is in there cooking it up. An awesome family channel. If you and your significant other are in the garden and cooking, where else you want to go? Where else on YouTube you want to go? They're doing it all for you. Come on. What else they got to do? Why these people ain't got three, uh, 5,000 subscribers by now? I don't know. F. Smith Welch in the building. Say, so, hey, Broken Garden. Farm. What's up, F. Smith Welch? Welch? I get told off sometimes, y'all. My apologies. Ooh, 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 Shirley Wayne, the good stuff. It's an adult beverage. Tashi23 in the building. Hello, cousin, everyone. What's up, Tashi? The sweet spot. What up? So, hey, bro, farm and family in the garden. Still listen. Look, you you in the garden, you in the building, you in the place to be, you everywhere in the YouTube street. Shirley Wynn, so I'm outside prepping that saw, busy, can't, can't stay, can't say hi to everyone. Look at him. Shirley, how do you been? We know this gardening time, this prime time gardening time. Look at him. Put your earbuds in or put it down and just listen. Handle your business out there in the, uh, in them, uh, Guarding the streets, though. Everybody speaking. Growing with Jay in the building. What's up, Jay? I saw your new video just popped up, man. I ain't got a chance to go over there and check it out. If y'all don't know who Growing with Jay is, Growing with Jay got the neatest garden on the planet. Do you hear me? It's like if you thought about how your garden, you wanted your garden to look, and you like Growing with Jay, that's what the garden looked like. All the beds are immaculate side up. They, they even the space and they growing food out there, y'all. Check out Growing with Jay. Happy Mac in the building. What's up, Happy Mac? Mary Ellen Sunflower Girl said, love uh, your sweet potato video. Appreciate that. Um, sometime next week, I'm going to plant sweet potatoes for this year, but I'm going to keep my expectations way down because that harvest I got last year, dude, that was spectacular. Now, what did I do for that hard to be so spectacular? No. I just, you know how sometimes everything just line up. You have everything in the right spot. It's getting the right, right amount of uh, shade or the right amount of sun. You're giving it the right amount of water. You're giving the exact fertilizer you need at the exact time you need. 
it's sometimes gardening, everything just lines up and it just work out. And that's how it was with sweet potato. It was an old raggedy bag from the Dollar Tree. I want to say, I can't even remember what kind of soil I used. I mean, yeah, expectation way down this year. But I'm going to try. That's what it's all about. TLC in the garden, in the building. What's up, TLC? Did you change your pick? Hey, Broke Farm and Family. Look, y'all, I'm streaming y'all when I'm looking at it. The picks are crystal clear. But looking at it on YouTube, it's crystal clear on here, too. I don't know what it is. Everything's just real lined up, but that's a cool pick. Right. Let me know if you updated your pick, because I don't think you even had a picture of the last one. Uh, and they'll say hashtag soil family expo. Oh, I'll steal one saying it right. My bad. Y'all know I'm getting old, man. Y'all chill out. I'm getting old. Ma I ain't gonna tell you how old I am. Y'all know how old I am. The essential garden in the building. Glad to have you in here. All right, let me hit everybody and then let's get started. There we go. Soil family expo. What did I say? The soil expo. Anyway, I screwed it up, y'all. You know how. You know. I'm I'm, I'm your crazy cousin, dude. I'm 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 out there, but I'm good people. You know what I mean? I cut your grass, but I won't rake up the extra. I just leave it in piles. You know that cuz. You know what I mean? So what I was talking about is called uh Saw Family Expo. And it's gonna be a meetup that we're doing at Black's Tropical Family Homestead. I just butcher everybody, man. Black's Tropical Homestead is hosting in Savannah, and it's gonna be spectacular. Look here. If you come to have fun, you're going to have fun. It's like this for every event you go to. If you come in to have fun, you're 132.36% going to have fun. But if you're not coming to have fun, you're not going to have fun. That's just how it is. Me, I'm going to have fun. You know why? Because I got the dominoes and the cars and the truck, and I'm going to have a good time. You know what I mean? I could go to the 7 Eleven and have a good time, but it's going to be super special because it's people. That I, I interact with on YouTube all the time that I've never met. Let's meet these people. We call it the gardening community. Let's really uh commute. You get it? Commute <laughs> and meet each other. So it's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. Can't wait to see y'all now. Uh I think I caught it. Miss Key Kitchen. I almost miss it in the building. I see your avatar out there. Hey, look, if, if somebody came in and I didn't see you, put back in the uh, chat. Hey, man, I'm in here. I'll put, I'm in the building. Growing with Jay say, putting in work in the garden while I listen. Yeah, I, I already told him that's exactly what you're doing, putting that work in over there, keeping that thing clean. Uh, yep, I missed somebody. Nope, I didn't. All right, y'all, I'm getting to the bottom, and then we're going to get started. But I just don't like people to come in my house and not speak to them. Janice W. in the building. So, hey, Broken Family Zone 5D weather is acting crazy. Growing cucumber, lettuce, and zucchini in the kitchen. Don't nobody care about the weather then. You still growing. Don't worry about the weather. You got it in the kitchen. You doing your thing. That's all that matters. Brampton Gardner in the building. What's up, Rochelle? Glad to have you in here. Oh, I saw somebody. That guy, the professor, Farmer Q, is definitely in the building. So I had to finish that job and take a passport photo. Okay. What the, what the, all right. Dude, you, you know, if y'all come in here, y'all give me random information. I be want to know, what, what the passport photo for? Q, where you going? You going out the country? Talk to him. Where you going? Uh, now, if it's a video, say a video coming soon. Don't give it away. Dragon Queen once said, all I can do is let God do his work. Big facts. Big facts. He do his job, you do yours, and everything work out. Yes, we could have fun in a parking lot. I can't go. Exactly. You can't tell me that you go somewhere and, and they are there or Lydia there, and you ain't going to have a good time. Come on. That's crazy. You know what I mean? People, some people just like to have a good time. And I've never met Andale. I mean, I've taught Andale hundreds of times. And you just know people vibe. And they are Lydia. Good vibes. These are good vibe people. 
you can tell that comes through. You know what I mean? My granny's garden in the building. If y'all ain't checked out my granny's garden, y'all slipping. Y'all are slipping hard. My granny's garden doing a thing over there, aka Miss Viola in the building. There you go. Cause you know I ain't miss you. In the building. A little house there in the building. Say, hey, garden fam. Hope I'm not too late. We're just getting started. See, when I get too far behind, I have to look on my phone. I don't think I missed anybody, but if I did, hey, right, let me know. Hey, bro, I'm in here too. Now, if you read the title of the video, which I'm pretty sure you did. There we go. <laughs> Tank Cross said, I'm good vibe people, bro. Self, you are definitely good vibe people. Look at him. I watch all your videos. I'm in 93.36% of your lives. I would not be hanging around and put myself, what is that called? In your atmosphere, if you weren't good people, you are definitely good people with gr not good vibes, great vibes. Glad, glad to know you. Now, the title of this is Poop Ass. I'm trying to make it the next month. Look here. Come on. If you can't make it, uh, hit somebody up on uh, Instagram and we'll Instagram you what's going on just like you do. Now, gardening anxiety. Now, I watch people videos and I think some people starting to get gardening anxiety. And if you're like, no, nah, that ain't what it is. This is the definition of anxiety. Nervousness or unease typically about an imminent event or something with uncertain outcome. Sound like gardening to me. Uncertain outcome, you put that seed in the ground, you don't know how it's gonna go. So it sounds like an uncertain outcome. So Sunday backyard farm in the building. Glad to have you in here. Drop what's up, fam? Drive, but listen. Hey, listen, bro. I know you here. Love notes in the building. What's up, love notes? Okay. Now I'm gonna pose this question. Let's be honest now. Come on, we family. Let's be honest. What gives you garden anxiety? Now, knowing the definition I just gave you, what gives you garden anxiety? I'm gonna tell you what gives me garden anxiety. Growing blueberries and knowing the birds gonna eat 92% of them. I know the birds gonna get them. Now I can try to cover them up and all that. I probably ain't gonna consistently do that. So I got anxiety about that. Now, is it bad anxiety? No. But I got anxiety knowing the bird is going to get my fruit. The, the bird is going to eat before I eat because they're outside all day. I'm outside a couple of hours. So I got a little anxiety about that. Urban Garden Chronicles in the building. Good afternoon, the broke farmer and chat. What up? Glad to have you in here. Bugs. Ooh, but Tammy, ooh, 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 ooh. I got a book dedicated for all garden and lawn book. Wait a minute. Ooh, a book by all, about all the garden and lawn pets and book and what you should use for. I got that book. And I think I'm going to do a video based off that book. Some of the, the bugs we had the biggest problems with. I'm gonna go over the book, what it say use, and it should be a fun video, I think. And they'll say, yes, I'm trying to make our garden space the no stress zone. I have to keep telling myself over and over, yes, yes. And they that was number one on the list. <laughs> We're gonna hit shortcake in the building. What's up, shortcake? Say hello, everyone, and uh have a Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Happy Max squash bug. Oh my goodness. Sucking the life out of everything. I'm going to tell you, man, I saw the only thing I've ever seen on YouTube work for squash bugs was this lady who had a needle who was injecting her plants for, uh, no, that's not a squash. That's a vine board. No, not a vine. That's something completely different. But yeah, squash bugs suck pretty much. The sweet spot, the birds, the cats, my dog. There's some different ones in there. I don't, first off, you got to get some catnip for them cats. Get, get them high off the catnip. And then they, they won't even think about eating. Or either 
they get the munchies and come back and eat everything in the garden. I don't know which way that'll go. I might go good or bad. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, your dog, I seen your dog. You got a big dog. I don't know how you're going to stop that one. <laughs> Mary Ellen Sunflower Girl. Now look, this, this is one of mine right here. Plant seeds and nothing comes up. Now, using peat pellets, if it's going to grow, it's going to grow in the peat pellets. I tell you, I've had the best um, germination rate in the peat pellets ever. I don't put two seeds in there. I put one seed in peat pellets and see what happens. Most of the time, it comes up in the peat pellets. But yes, plant seeds and nothing come up. You know, um, I think GG Naturals put out a, uh, a community post about me every five minutes to see if the seeds I just planted, planted germinated yet. Everybody like that. Well, after about eight or nine days of nothing coming up, yeah, it'll give you anxiety. Definitely. Brandon Garnes, I keep telling my friend, garden is not supposed to be stressful. Big facts. Big facts. Garden is your stress reliever, but it can cause anxiety too. The tainted crops I cover my blueberries and materials that I don't need to remove until harvest. Them is my blueberries. I hear you. I hear you. I think I seen uh Angel Love put the um the laundry bag over from uh the Dollar Tree. I've seen different nettings you can uh use. I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to fight birds and stuff. I'm almost at a point where I just let them get what they're going to get. And then I wait to get a bigger harvest. Or I might get to a point where I cover everything up. I never know. This crazy weather. Big facts. This crazy weather will give you anxiety. Now, last night, last two nights, uh, set Friday night and Saturday night, I had to cover all my young plants. Because I got everything out there. Tomatoes, squash, uh, Egg plant. I already planted that stuff. So I took some uh I think it's called outdoor carpet, that green carpet. I had it on my back deck and we didn't like the way it looked. So it ended up in the uh shed. Everything ended up in the shed. So I used that to cover all my raised beds. Got some frost blankets and cover my other stuff. When I this morning, everything is perfect. Nothing is hurt. So it's all good. And I'm I'm glad that I went ahead and planted. So now I got a jump start on my whole year. So now anything die, anything go wrong, I got plenty of time. I ain't worried about the weather no more. I got 14 days with my load over 50. I'm good. I'm not worried about nothing now. It's, it's steady growing now. Can't nothing stop me. Well, I say that unless a rabbit get in and eat everything. You're not rabbit. The sweet spot, Rochelle, has been start. Started acting like my dog. It. It's, oh, okay, that's something. Okay, you want? All right, you want to talk to me? Sweet spy said they not my cat. They're stalker. Well, look, email me. I got something else. If they ain't your cat, man, if you don't know who cats say, I, I got something you can give them. <laughs> they get I'm just joking. I'm just. I'm just joking. The sweet spot. I'm not trying to kill nobody's cat. My granny gone said those uh straight cats don't eat, they just poop. Oh my goodness, that's even worse. Uh Yankee sister said transition time in the garden makes me anxious and I try to tame anxiety. Exactly. Because you go on from cold weather plants to warm weather plants, now warm weather. Now you fight more bulls. You got to water more often. It's a whole lot more stuff that go into uh spring and summer crop. But some people. You know, they, they garden a little spring, the bull eat them up, and they don't. But I did find something that was pretty cool. Um, I think it was Lowe's had some uh, insecticide of soap, and it's already mixed in the spray bottle. Now, for the laser garden like myself, for $2, I'm going to try that. But it's just insecticide of soap. I already mixed together in the spray bottle. I'm like, oh, yeah. So I ain't got to mix it or nothing like that. Cause with me, you know, the first, the first sign of uh, atheist, shoot water on, uh, get a little worse, get some neem oil or some insect, insecticide or soap, and uh, spray on it. So I'm gonna try to keep it super simple. 
I'm gonna try not to over overdo it. Marie's blended harvest in the building. Say hello, broke farm and family. What's up? Glad to have you in here. Pandora's garden in the building. Mary Ellis said, I live in Florida, no problem with weather. Oh, don't be bragging. You bragging. <laughs> but look, you don't have a problem with weather, but your bugs, oh my goodness, and they're being super duper hot. It's harder to grow. Everybody thinks because you're in a real warm climate that everything grows better. Some stuff is hard to grow in both, you know, really quick. So no matter where you live at, you got some gardener obstacles. Sorry, hard to chat. Someone's attacking me. What? Who attacking? Do we need to call the police? Bruh. <laughs> Paul Mitchell in the building. I said, good afternoon, y'all. What's up, Paul? Glad to have you in here. Have you been dreaming some monkeys, but they mostly stay in high trees. If they like something in your garden, they start lurking. That's a first. That is a first. I've never heard nobody say they fight monkeys in their backyard. Whole new perspective in the building. Say, have the sun and broken in. What's up, whole new perspective? Uh, happy farm lady say, I'm learning and not great at growing, but love it. But my worst anxiety comes from my grandma's criticism. The wisdom and time with her is a blessing, but but she's brutal. Because she's brutally honest. She's going to tell you, look here, man. Don't be out here throwing all that mess in that garden. And I can hear her talking now. You know, use the stuff that we use back in the day. All that stuff going to give you aphids and kill your plant. You don't need nothing but a little, uh, you need to put it, a, a little uh, common, I mean, not common manure, chicken manure, sprinkle that chicken manure over and water. That's all you got to do. I already know. I know. Burnt the garden, so I'm hardening off my cold season crops and I keep checking on my baby. See, she's in a very different climate and you know, most of through with uh, cold season crop, she just getting those ready. Oh, it's my puppy. <laughs> okay, I thought so. All right. Sweet spot say I'm excited because I didn't know what I was doing. Now I kind of know what I'm doing, but the bug. But I'm going to tell you something about that sweet spot. Some of the best things I grew, I had no idea what I was doing. And I'm going to go back to some of them basics, man. I think sometimes we all get away from the super duper basic basic stuff and we, we the more we learn the more we want to do but some of that basic stuff work put the seed in the in the uh, soil and water so that work on some stuff veggie farm garden in the building say good afternoon bro farm chat what up uh veggie farm garden glad to have you in here marion lewis in the building said chicken manure is the best fruit ever big facts big Facts. It is the best. You can Google this. Chicken manure is the best. Somebody Google it and tell me I'm wrong. Now, I got my little handy daddy notebook. You know, get a couple talking points. That's what I like to do. I mean, it's a chat and we have discussion. We got to have topics for discussion. Now, when it comes to gardening anxiety, first thing you do is relax. Just relax. Just relax. Slow down. Pull the reins, baby. Just say, wait a minute. Take a step back and say, am I really upset about gardening? Am I really upset about this stuff? Oh, I'm not going to be upset. And remember, you have a gardening community that you can ask questions to. Now, do I have a lot of the answers? No. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. But this is a community. I ain't got to know everything. I got brown the garden. I can ask questions. I got sitting some soil. I can ask questions. That love looks like I can ask questions. G Mama grows. I can ask questions. You know what I mean? It's it's so many people use your community. It takes a village to raise these plants. I said, take a village to raise these plants. Sometimes use your village. Uh, the sweet spot. I, said, I would say you need to fertilize according to what the plant needs. All plants don't need nitrogen. Some need phosphorus or calcium, so forth. Somebody's been doing their homework. Somebody's been doing their homework. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I don't I don't believe in the calcium so much. Don't don't nobody jump. <laughs> I, I'm not a, 
not big on the calcium because it's a micronutrient. So, yeah. But the nitrate, and first off, everybody going to disagree with the calcium part. I know that. But uh, the nitrogen and the phosphorus, you know, everything don't need a ton of nitrogen. Everything don't need a, a ton of phosphorus. You know what I mean? Like uh, sweet spot, say you got to balance out what the plant needs. You know, if your plant's already getting beautiful, healthy leaves, why you keep getting the nitrogen? It's got big, beautiful leaves. Now you want the fruit. Unless it's a brassica and all you're getting is a uh, leaf, then you want a bigger nitrogen. Brandon Garner said, I'm grateful for all my free rabbit poop. Now, I heard rabbit poop was real good, too. And uh, I saw G Mama say, it's, it's rabbit. Eh. I don't know. I think it's chicken manure. I, uh, I think the last I read, uh, it was the highest in minerals or the highest in something. So depending on what category you're talking about, Z Mom, you could be right. Or depending on what category, I could be right. That's why we discuss this stuff. <laughs> Mary Ellen said, Freo. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Appreciate that, Bobby. Share uh, which one of y'all doing that? Soul family, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up for our awesome soul brother. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Now, okay, I'm, I'm looking at the comments over here. Now, the next one is it might not grow, it might not. But don't stress. It might not grow. You know how long I've been trying to grow pink celery? Stay up in the day. I got one. I don't know. I can't even reach that far. But I got one little plant that be out of probably 16 or 18 seeds. I don't sow. That's what it is. I'm not worried about it. Um eat. Seeds don't come in a pack of five for a reason because sometimes some seeds don't germinate, so you got to keep trying. So it might not grow, it might not grow. Move on, you know what I mean? Don't get caught up in oh, I can't grow this, so I'm just gonna stop gardening altogether. That's what I anxiety kick in. Anytime your head tell you to stop doing something, you got anxiety behind it because it's a nervousness or unease. Typically about an imminent event. There you go. You don't quit everything. Uh, Miss Native Cherokee 70 in the building. Game nerd mom in the building. Game nerd mom say, and my clay saw iron. Get oh, hold on. Let me. It look good. Uh, let me find that comment. Man, that went fast. There you go. Game nerd mom garden said, and my clay soil iron gets tied up. So that could be true about cows from Mabel Sandy. So ooh, 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 somebody came to play. Somebody came to play. Game nerd uh, mom garden, too shape. Too shape. And we're gonna read that one more time. And my clay soil iron gets tied up. So that could be true about cows for maybe a sandy soil, which I do have a sandy soil. But I just put micronutrients on a way lower platform than the, mac the macronutrients, you know, the nit nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and uh, potassium. But depending on your soil, that makes a thousand percent good information. That makes good sense to me. So, touche. I like when people come to play. But clay soil is still good soil. And clay soil is still good soil. All soil has a certain purpose. Mary Lewis said, other than chicken poop, common manure is great also, great as well, but you can't use it hot. It will burn your plant. Can't use chicken manure hot either. It'll burn your plants too. Um, I want to say three to six months for chicken manure. I don't know how long for uh, cow manure. But yeah, I think rabbit manure is the only one that won't burn your plants. You know, straight out. Straight out the straight out the shoot. <laughs> you get it straight out the shoot. 
Duval. See the girl Garner in the building. Say happy Sunday, everyone. What's up, Duval? Glad to have you in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I get live all the time. Yeah. Let's just say they say revenue doesn't have a waiting time to use it like chicken. Yeah, definitely. Um, like I say, straight out the shoot to the guard. Sweet spot, big words. I'm, I'm wearing a few words now. It's going to take me a little longer to put it all together. Game there, Mom said, hey, everyone, I'm on the phone. Hello, I can't tag people. Look, I'm... Look, I'm gonna tell everybody, hey, for you. Game nerd mom garden said, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? She glad to see y'all on Sunday. She sit back and she listening, and she enjoy y'all being here. Mary, Mary Lou said, uh, another thing is we're not at all in the same growth zone. Exactly. What, what are we talking about? I forgot the original conversation. My bad, Mary. I go across the street and come back. I'm, my, my bad. I forgot the original conversation. Whole new perspective. I had to get my perfectionist attitude in check. It's not going to be perfect, but good, good enough. Still a work in progress. Yeah, I ain't no perfect in our garden. I can tell you that. No matter how good the garden is, if they honest with you, it's some things they don't have success with. You know, I don't know if sometimes it's environment, sometimes it's just a growing style that ain't conducive to big word alert conducive to what they're trying to grow. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's hard. it's pretty hard to look for perfections out there in that garden because that garden will humble you. It will humble you. You miss one day of water and something like the moringa uh, seedling, it's gone. It's old. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Six people haven't hit that like button. Come on, y'all. We all family. Come hit that like button. Don't worry about it. Don't call me. I'm hit. GE a die in the building. Say greeting, family. What's up, GE? Glad to have you in here. Game there, mom. Garden say clay soil is what I prefer. It holds nutrients better. Facts. But some plants just don't like it. Facts. 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 And more facts. But yeah. It holds nutrients, but it also holds a lot of other things. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't like it. Uh, prefer name one uh, water, but uh, some plants just don't like it. Yeah, but that's understanding your yard and understanding what you can grow. Uh, everybody's still speaking there. There we go. Mary Ellen said, I bought it for dirt because I live on sand, on sand hill. I'm a borrower and we trade haircuts for dirt. Ooh, 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 ooh. I take that deal every day and twice on Sunday. That's a good deal. Haircut for some soil? Oh, yeah. Mary Lewis said, What? Moringa doesn't like what? No, 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 no. I'm, I just use Moringa as an example when we're talking about being a perfectionist, you know. I use Moringa as an example. You, you miss water one day and, you know, it needed water and it died. I, I, I Moringa don't even like that much water. I just use it as an example. What? Moringa doesn't like what? No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't say nothing about what Moringa like. I, I got a country accent. I might. I say, fill these grow bag is work. LOL, break time. Go on, go on, sit down. Cop squat. Mary Lewis said, where's the like button? I don't see it. All right. Good question. All right. You in the live chat. This is not going to work at all. Well, you in the live chat. You hit that X to the right. And then you go back out. On the far left is a thumbs up button like that. It look like a, a mitt. Hit that and make it turn black. All right. Them groceries in the building. What's up, them groceries? Glad to have you in here. <clears throat> Big word. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh in high school, we call them SAT words. 
<laughs> Look, I mean, the older you get, some words you just learn how to use. Some of them I still don't use right. Now, going down the list, the next one is uh, it's expensive. That's what a lot of people say. People start getting anxiety about how much money they spend in that card. Look here, man. It's a simple process. Get some milk jugs, rinse them out good, go to the Dollar Tree, get some soil, some pine soil. I mean, they got pine soil and Dollar Tree for a dollar. Put it in there. You go on aisle three to the left, right above the uh, Metamucil and the Dollar Tree, and they got seeds. Pick them seeds up, put them in there. What, $3 out? Come on. Don't, don't worry about the cost. Find a way to make it grow. It ain't always about that money. Yeah, the deeper you get in gardening, you're going to have to spend a little more money up front. But in the long run, it's just it's mostly amendments and seeds. And after the first two years, you got so many seeds. Oh, my goodness. I don't need to buy seeds for at least two more years. I'm going to try not to buy no more seeds for next year. I've got plenty of seeds. So, yes, it might be expensive. Some people get anxiety about how much money they spend on gardening. I'm going to tell you like this. Nobody get anxiety about how much the Netflix bill is. Nobody get anxiety about how much the cable bill is. Nobody get anxiety about all the new shoes they buy. When you get anxiety over gardening expenses, something you're going to eat, something that you put good in your body, come on, man. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? It ain't... That probably ain't what you want to have anxiety over spending money on uh, your gardening supply, especially if if you get nutritious food, it's calming your nerves, it's keeping the stress off you. That's money well spent. When I, I've never bought a fruit tree and thought I spent too much money on not one, not one. If I bought a fruit tree, it's in the yard. Is what it is. So good gardening in the building. What's up, Calvin? Uh, the Nick Queen solo, not the Nick, the Nick person, the Nick Queen solo in the building. What's up, V? I saw a pretty cool comment. Hit it, loving the chat. I'm working on season. Which, that's what I'm talking about, Mary Lou. Look here, Mary Lewis don't hit this chat. We all good now. We off to the races. Let's go, Mary. That's what I'm talking about. And Mary, you talk, look, first off, y'all don't put these halfway comments in here. I'm working on C's as we check. Mary, what C's are you working on? You, you just threw out that random look. Like, we know, we're not looking through your window. We don't know. Come on. What, what kind of uh, C's you putting in there? What, what we want to know, inquiring minds want to know if you're old enough to get that reference. What seeds you are sowing right now? We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, <laughs> now Odom's half acre homestead in the building. Say, I don't think about the money when it comes to eating good. Big facts. Big facts. I knew Odom family, Odom half acre homestead. I knew I liked you when I saw your name. I knew I liked you. Now, it's some things you might be like, should I spend this money on it? Is it worth the money? But after I, after I get it, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. I'm telling you, don't. Some stuff you worry about and some stuff you don't worry about. I ain't bought a new pair of shoes in at least two years. I know. Don't care about shoes. But you better believe I'll buy some fruit trees. You better believe that. It's all in what you like to do, man. And I work hard. I take care of my business and, and my home is good. I'm going to do what makes me happy at the end of the day. And fruit, going out there watching fruit trees, bud up, and me get tangerines for the first time, like I'm thinking I'm going to get this year. I'm, yeah, I get a little excited, y'all. I get a little bit excited. I ain't going to lie to you. I get a little bit excited knowing that I'm going to get my own tangerine out my backyard. Y'all hear me? Y'all, I don't... I don't think nobody check in the chat. Put a hand up if y'all hear what I'm saying. I might eat my own tangerine out my backyard this year. That's what I'm saying. 
That's all I'm saying. Love note said barter is sometimes better than the money. I gave away sage sauce. Ooh, that sounds good. Sage sauce. And they gave me away the fresh cheddar wheel, cheddar wheel cheese. Oh, that sounds good too. <laughs> I didn't know about losing that deal. That was a win, 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 win. Look, everybody hear what I'm coming from. Big facts. Big facts. Xander uh, Sykin in the building. That's what I'm talking about. I get a little excited knowing that I might get an apple or some plums in my backyard. Now, my, my tree, trees are two years, so they should give me a little fruit, but it's, it's just beginning. So if I get one piece of fruit, I'm happy, y'all. I ain't going to lie. And if that makes me happy, guess what? If I spend $40 or $50 on a tree, which is the high end, is usually the high end of trees, I spent a little more for that st Stella cherry tree because I really wanted that one. But $40, $50 on a tree. Come on, y'all. I bought a, uh, a bag of uh, Granny Smith apples, I think, for $6. Good Lord. $6? $6 for a bag of apples? Now, you do the math on that. Come on. Six times seven is 42. If I bought an apple tree for $42, if I get seven harvests of apples, I got my money, baby. And guess what? I know what went in it. Yeah. I, I'm buying apples at the store. I don't know if they're putting bleach in these apples. How do these apples stay green forever and a day? Y'all explain it. How does stuff stay so fresh on the, on the shelves all the time? Come on now. Come on, I know where my stuff coming from. Even if the harvest ain't that big. Mary Ellen said, I find free tire this year and wood is, is wood too expensive. Big facts. Uh, use what you got. Sometimes you don't have to buy stuff. If you can get creative with it and you know have a vision behind it. Vanita 16 in the building. What's up, Vanita? Devin Gray in the building. What's up, Devin Gray? Uh, let me hit these comments and hit the next one. Happy Max. Uh, also, if you just got two nickels to rub together like me, go to your town highway department and they give you leaves and compost for free most time. Why oh, somebody preaching in him? Somebody preaching in him. If you willing to do a re do the research, you can find a way to do what you want to do. You know what? Even when it comes to containers, I guarantee at least ten people. In this chat right now, I know how to get free containers. You know, believe me? You can get containers from, uh, I want to say, some of these grocery stores. If you go to the bakery department, you know where they get the, uh, the filling coming, the big thing? That's a great, I think that's a three gallon bucket. That's a great bucket to grow stuff in. Come on, milk jugs. Um, you can go to uh, your local nursery and sometimes. They throwing away those pots because they use something in them five gallon pots to up pot trees. Most time they give it to you uh, for 50 cents or something like that. But you got to ask, you can't be too proud. Now, somebody like me, I go in there, man, look, I act like I got four dollars strong together and I'm asking for everything free. Free. You know how they say you have to negotiate? My negotiation stuff are free. Hey, man, you getting that away? They didn't even go up from there. You know what I mean? Don't well, never be too proud. Grown with Hudson say three gallon and five gallon from the bakery. I stand corrected. There you go. Here we go. Marion Lewis asks a coffee shop for milk jug. And if you go to Starbucks, they give you a uh, free coffee grinds, which are fertilizer. Come on now. We can do this all day. Uh, TLC in the garden say, I'll be waiting a few years for my fruit. For my baby trees, they are all tables, tabletop size since I still, since I'm in an apartment still, just up part of my new pomegranate tree. Now, there you go. And you don't need a huge fruit tree. I learned that the hard way. Establish the roots first and then go from there. Everything else will work your way out. Work on them roots. Don't worry about if that tree nine foot tall and about to fall over because the roots this deep. Come on. 
racing fire in the building. Glad to have you in here. Miss Native Cherokee said, just picked up a honeydew melon from the store. I'll be growing the seeds again this year. I do this every year. This way we eat the pack, we eat the package the seeds are in. Big facts. Big. And people don't even think about that. People buy fruit all the time and never try to grow the seeds. But people like Miss Native Cherokee and myself, if I buy a piece of fruit, I'm, except for apple trees, because apple trees take a long time. For other stuff, yeah, cucumbers, uh, peppers from the store, all that is growable. Mary Lewis said, I use center winter sowing method. You just told someone about the milk jug. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, cut the milk jug in half, put it over, tape it around. Well, I mean, you got to put the dirty seeds on there. Then tape it around, and there you go. You're ready to go. All those half acre homesteads say, I don't think about the money when it comes to eating good. Big facts. Big facts. You ain't, you ain't told no lie. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I'm way, way. B Solo says, save them seeds. Big facts, save all your seeds. Uh, Grace and Fire said, I keep my eggshells in the freezer and baking them off for the garden. I also save my banana peels in the freezer. Look at them. For my seedlings, I take these little water bottles and I, I put a banana peel in it and I, I fertilize my seedlings with banana water. Somebody say, you can't do that. I already did. <laughs> but this is super simple because I don't want a big jug of stuff in there. I just want something small that I can fertilize them twice before they go outside. And it's all good. Indiana Backyard Garden. Garden in the building. Say, hey, cuz, how you doing? Indiana, I'm doing good. Look, we plant down here in the south, Indiana. So, you know. Life is good right now. You know what I mean? Until I get on here and I cry about how the bulls don't eat everything up. But right now, life is good. Bulls ain't got me yet. Devin Grace said, I just came in from bend, bend my lids. I start my greens using the winter soil method. Six degrees in White Bear Lake, Minnesota today. Zone 4B. Ooh, you're in a rough zone. You're in a rough zone. But guess what? Guess what? That winter sowing method. That milk jug thing, that worked. I've never seen nobody on YouTube say it don't work. So according to YouTube, but four out of five people say it's good, it's good. Maurice Blanding, Blanding uh, Harvest say, I enjoy using my eggshell. The only thing I'm too lazy, my, well, my eggshells don't work how they should. I think I've seen a couple people do a video where they bake them or they, they get them in a the, uh, blender and blend them down or whatever. And it, the plants can take it over because it's a powder form. I use a crumb them up in my hand and put them in the compost. That's the lazy way. But the correct way is uh, bake them down to powder form and then go from there. The everyday life of an OCDS chick, Nikki. What's up, Nikki? In the building. I said, bro, Mars and check. Glad to have you in here, Nick. All right, we're going to go to the next thing. They give some people anxiety in the garden. Oh, it's too much work. It's too much work. I will have a garden, but having a garden a lot of work. Yeah, and eating bad food from Kroger is a lot of money. It's a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. You can see 50 cent at Dollar Tree. I'm just putting that out there. Ultimate acres in the building. Say, uh, traveling from New York City to Arizona today. Just showing some blood, some blessing. Just showing a little blessing to you and your family. Appreciate that, Ultimate Acre. Be safe out there. And hope you have a whole bunch of fun once you get to Arizona. But people always say, it's too much work. I don't have time for the work. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Negative people kill me. Shut up. Shut, shut up. But yeah, it's work. Anything worth having is work. Come on. Why do you want something for nothing? Get up off your butt and go do something. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's work. It's work. It's good food. Good food is work. Good healthy food is work. It's work. Anything that's good for you either is expensive or is a lot of work. 
Get over it. Get over it. That's how the world works. People who want things better and to better themselves put in the work. It's the work. Yes, it's hard work. Come on. But I hear that. I'll put your hand up in the chat if you heard somebody say they don't garden because it's too much work. It's too much work. It's too much work. You know what? I ain't no work. Laying on the sofa all day. I ain't no work in that. I ain't no work in that. You ain't even got to. You ain't even got to get up to go get in there. You can have them send you something to the house. I'm just saying. Don't 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 make me the bad guy. I'm just saying. Yes, it's, it's hard work, and I just hear people all the time. You know, I talk about gardening all the time. Even the people who don't want to listen to it. And the first thing they say, hey, I said, why don't you grow some, man? You know, you hear about all the stuff going on in the grocery store. You don't want to grow now? Man, that's too much work. You know what it takes more work? Being hungry. <laughs> Being hungry takes a lot of work. Grace and fire know what I'm talking about. Heard somebody say it. Ultimate Acre heard somebody say it. Sweet spot. Tammy heard somebody say it. Indiana Backyard. African Dreaming. Miss Viola heard it. Everybody heard it. Duval said, I haven't been lucky enough to find them free yet, but I only pay $1 for four and five gallon bucks and big win. Big win. I'm just telling you, it's a big win. $1 to grow food. Come on, man. I don't. Now, if you want to start getting some of the exotic stuff and some of these fruit trees, you know, some of this. I got this thing about citrus tree. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But especially if it's a satsuma citrus tree. Do you hear me? I'm going to satsuma citrus, citrus tree. I can put them in the grind. AA. Now, I've tried. If you saw my video, <laughs> I, before I understood how all this worked <laughs> a little better, I tried to put citrus trees in the ground, but I didn't have the right ones in the ground. Set sumas I can put in the grind and zone eight a. So if it's a, a variety of set sumas citrus tree, I want it. Yeah, I got the uh, I had the award <laughs> set suma. I got an award uh frost set suma now, and I got a uh set suma silver hill. So if it's a set suma variety, I want it. I went out. See, that's when I go across the street and I come back. I'm sorry, y'all. I try to stay on top, but I ain't good at it. V Solo said, move out the way. More space for me. Big facts. Big facts. Get out the way. Stop buying all these amendments off the shelf that you'll never use. Stop. I'm tired of going to the store and I ain't no goddamn blood mill or bone mill. Get out the way. You ain't doing that with it. If you check the expiration date on your bone and blood mill, you ain't handling your business. I'm just gonna put that out there. Jane Franklin in the building. What's up, Jane? Glad to have you in. Having made huge facts on that, shaking my head at my sister and brother. -in -law. Dude, they, I just don't understand what the big deal is. Is it really that much work to put dirt in a container, put some seeds in there, and water it? Even not every day, every third day or fourth day. Is it really that much work? Come on. Shirley Williams said, my neighbor just, just left. He dumped 15 bags of hummus, topsoil, mushroom hummus, and got in uh, garden beds and five gallon bucket for tomato, strawberry, or something. Now I'm in the chat. Ooh, 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 Shirley. That's a lot of good stuff. That hummus. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Mushroom hummus or uh, mushroom compost. That's the five. Five, five, five. Yes. I got some uh mushroom compost on the uh one of my local nursery. But I don't know when you say 15 bags, yeah, it's probably the same stuff. Um uh, I think it's probably the same one that's made by black cow. Black cow now make a uh a mushroom comp compost. DD in Vegas. So if I plant and grow vegetables in 99 to over 100, 100 degree temp here in Vegas, anyone can do it. Big fact. Big fact. Because 100 degrees will choke something out in your garden. T. 
T.L. Senegal said, being sick and hungry is too much work. Yes, too much work. Uh, Mary Lou said, I would like to ask why the people that bake their eggshell, why I also fertilize my house plants with stinky egg water when you bake, when you bake, you're cooking out the good stuff. I also prefer my house plants with stinky egg water. When you bake, you're cooking out the good stuff. No, not when it comes to the eggs, because you you baking the nutrients off the uh outer edges, off the, the shell. You're baking off the shells. You ain't losing no nutrients from the shell. Uh oh, and what uh ask why the people bake the eggs. Oh, they bake them so they can be real crispy and you can crumb them up into powder. And then your plants can absorb it better because it's already broken down into a powder form. Once it's in the shell form, it's hard for them plants. The shell has to break down for the plants to absorb the nutrients and the calcium into the roots. But once you bake them and it get real brittle, you, you, you know, you can, uh, however you want to break them down and make them into powder. And then your plants can, can uptake them nutrients way easier in the powder form. And they'll say, I love that work. I especially love skipping aisles in the grocery store. Big facts. I ain't bought no collard greens. I ain't bought no green beans. I ain't bought no tomatoes. When it wasn't tomato season, guess what? We just didn't eat tomatoes. And that's how it's going to be going forward. I mean, so many tomatoes during tomato season. When tomato season over, we ain't going to want no tomatoes. And that's how we're going to do it. If we ain't got no collard greens in the freezer, guess what? Well, he collard greens gonna come around again. Why do we got to have collard greens every other Sunday? I don't know when that became a thing, but I'm I'm getting away from all that stuff. Yankee Home says that gardening is work, Yankee sister, but nothing feels better than a nice hot shower and sit down and enjoy a fresh meal. Oh my God, Yankee sister, you, you preaching in him. I passed the collection. Yankee sister passed collection plate. I'm I'm putting something in the complete collection plate. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Because I don't, I don't, I just, some stuff I like to work for. You know, um, if you're a woman, I don't know if your significant other ever told you this, but they they like that they had to work for you. You know what I mean? Because you were worth having. Same thing with gardening. On a very simple level, but yes. All right, I'm going to hit that uh, next one. Oh, hold on. This is a good one. I like this. Let me get to the bottom. Ultima Acre said, I'm smuggling sprouted fruit tree seeds. I couldn't leave it behind. No plant left behind. Go for it. I understand. I'm right behind. Do what you got to do. I understand your situation. Uh, any other backyard garden say, LOL, say that 10 times fast. I can't. I can barely say it uh, coherently one time. Love no say I don't bake my egg shells. I just put them in water and water plant shells and all slugs and bulls hate the shells. Oh yeah, crumble up because they uh cut up their soft body. Damn, that worked too. Chris White said I'm here uh listening. Can't chat hands in the soil. Pot up a few hundred tomatoes. How do your business then? We understand that. <laughs> we understand that work done. People make time for the desires rather than their responsibility. Ooh, 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 ooh. Somebody, look here, we own something today. <clears throat> Everybody came to play today. Sweet Spot said, if you're using grow bag water every day, y'all, definitely. Grow bags, stuff grow good in grow bags, but you got to keep it water. Or um, get a water bottle like this. You know, poke holes in the top, flip it over in there, go to Dollar Tree, get some of the water bulls I got. You know, there's ways to do it. Domin Cassandra Dominique in the building. Say hello, Brooke Farmer. Say, what's up, Cassandra? Devin Gray said, people that want to complain about it aren't really into it. I'm blessed to be able to grow without what I do. And get the cool thing about it, you can grow what you want to grow. I've never went to Kroger one day and they had karabi in there. But guess what? I got 436 karabi seeds. 
I got co-op growing out here right now. You know what I mean? Come on now. I've never went to one of my local big box stores and they had Stella cherry tree out there. I got one out there. You know what? I wanted it. I wanted it. And I'm a grown man. I wanted what I wanted. Unicorn Lady Tech in the building. And Garner also, I say this all the time, also offer you the opportunity to grow stuff that you just can't get in the grocery store. If you can grow some, I think I heard T-Nard say this, can't nobody ever tell you what you can't eat. When I was a little kid, I used to eat what was put on my plate in front of me. When I got older, I said, I'm going to eat what I want to eat. And part of that is gardening. I can grow whatever I want to grow and eat whatever I want to eat. Can't nobody tell me what to eat. I mean, my wife can suggest it, but you know how that go. Broke Farmer, if you or anyone needs some lawn items such as outdoor heaters, pits, etc., Home Duke, uh, Dome Depot had them on clearance. Outdoor heaters, outdoor heaters. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I saw your short. Oh, uh, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about, the outdoor heaters. Um, they got like a cover on them or something like that. If y'all look for them items, go hit uh, Dome Hippo. Me and Dome Hippo in a little uh, better relationship right now. So, you know, I've been going and checking them out. You know, they've been emailing me. It's all good now. People claim salmonella, but farmer you used to stick a whole raw egg in the shell and the hole on the tomato plant. Some people still do that. Um, I can't think of the cat. Uh, I think Miracle Me or somebody, whoever that guy is in Australia, Australia, wherever you he do that now. Or does he boil it? No, I just think he get a raw egg um, that one is chicken cracked and just put it down there. Odom Half at Home says it's best to blend, blend it with banana peels and plant in each hole. There you go. That's a little more work than I'm willing to do. I mean, I just throw uh, old banana peels in a compost and just spin a little compost with you. <laughs> And they'll say bake, baking the germs away, also an eggshell, but some people soak eggshells in water and use the water. I bake mine and then grind them though. Yeah. Uh, the tiny crops are exactly what I'm doing. Eat what, I'm, what I have growing and eat it again next time around. Big fat. All right, somebody, somebody just, uh, all right. All right, the next thing on the list, hold on, let me get to the bottom. Best, uh, Sweet spot said the best feeling for me is to look at my plants in the morning and again when I cut them down and eat. Ooh, that's a beautiful feeling. Look here, I go to my window in my house and just stare out into my backyard garden. <laughs> and you think I'm weird? I'm definitely weird. Definitely. Now, uh, I hear people say, some people get anxiety about when is the right time to plant. I hear all the time people say, when is the right time to plant? 14 days of weather above 50 degrees. Bam, plant. All the anxiety gone. I don't know when to plant. It's too cold. I plant after Easter. Uh, I plant nine days after Easter. Dude, just have a plan and plant some. Don't have anxiety about when are you going to get another frost. If you, if you plant something and you got another frost coming, anything under 40 degrees, just cover everything up. Get frost cloths. Uh, get blankets from the Goodwill. Uh, I use uh, the uh, outdoor carpet. That stuff is thick. That worked real well. I put outdoor carpet over the raised beds, and I get uh, those little uh, metal things that drive in the ground, the stakes, and I stake it down. Jane Franklin said, uh, whoop. You can do some amazing things with compost, making it or otherwise. Definitely. Uh, all your fruit and vegetable scraps, uh, coffee grind, uh, paper towels, uh, all that good stuff can go in your compost. You can reuse this stuff. It's just, And then, I'm going to tell you something else. You use fewer garbage bags. People who compost don't have to buy as much, many garbage bags. Composting is cool. Halal Family Homestead in the building. What's up, Halal? 
Nikki say it's something deep. What Nikki say? Uh, Didi and Vegas say, yeah, when it get really cold here at night in Vegas, I went to Goodwill and bought a couple of sheets for really cheap and just couple my stuff up with the nighttime. It worked perfect. There you go. And yeah, in the backyard, I said, clear total milk jugs, clear two liter bottle, all good with text for season. Facts. Big facts. It's, it's, it's so many ways to do this stuff. Gardner Twitter in the building said, Broke Farm, what's up? What's up, Twitter? Glad to have you in. But yeah, I mean, I think we really overdid this whole concept of the right time to plant stuff out. I mean, you got a last frost date. Base it off that. It give you once you know your last average frost date. Dude, start plant stuff. And if you get one of them phantom frosts, I think they call them, just cover your stuff up. That's all you gotta do. Cover it up and keep it moving. This is so true, bro. For me, the raccoons don't visit my garage cans anymore. There you go. That's another benefit. Michael Farmer in the building. Glad to have you on Michael Farmer. The hood gardener in the building. Hey, I saw you earlier and I forgot to speak to you. My bad. Uh, hood garden side buried a fish being planted my tomato. It works for me. Ooh, hood gardener. I will be doing this this year. If I go fishing and I get a couple of them fish that look big coming out the water, by the time I get it home, look like babies, I am going to use them right around my fruit tree. Yep. Definitely going to try. That's a great idea. But I would cut the head off it and chop it up a little, uh, let it break down, pal. James Franklin said, I used compost so hard at one time that my garage, my garbage went from two big cans to one, to one half. The only thing the man had to pick up from the house was plastic and some gray, some glass. There you go. I mean, come on. That's re composting is recycling. Anybody want to argue that point? No, I don't want to argue that. Yeah, if you into recycling, you should be into composting. Same thing, go hand in hand. G E or Dice said neighborhood cat digging my pot. Get a BB gun. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But uh, a, a good thing to keep everything out of your uh, mothball. They they smell really weird. For about a week, but throw mothballs around everything and then keep everything out your yard. Believe me. Uh, love no say I have used the fish guts had to stop the animals lost their mind. Covered up with copper grind. How I came up with that? You watch know drug dealer movies and they put uh the drugs in the coffin because you can't smell. The dogs can't smell through coffee grind because coffee grind got such a loud aroma. Simple solution. And I got that from a movie. Does it work? See somebody else on YouTube doing that. The people on YouTube lie? Of course not. Everybody honest on YouTube. Coffee grind should keep animals away. Yeah, I, I heard that uh, some people use coffee grind for gopher. Devin Gray said, bury the fish deep, then add lime to lime works also. The top of it, that way no critters come up to dig the dead fish and stir whatever you plant. Yep, I've heard of lime too. Uh, Unitech lady, Unicorn Lady Tech said, rabbits and grasshoppers are my, can't stop grasshoppers. I'm just going to tell you that now. If you figure out a way to uh, stop grasshoppers, you you done some major grasshoppers everywhere, especially down here. You just gotta live with them. Now, I'll tell you something else. I had anxiety about when I first started doing YouTube. Fatima Nash in the building. What's up, Fatima? James Franklin said, "Use copper new. Oh, use. Don't do the new. Let." <laughs> Yeah, use the uh, used coffin. Uh, once it's been, uh, you made the coffin, 
coffee grind. He's a coffee grind. Yep. Starbucks will save them for you. I get them from Starbucks all the time. They usually, uh, when you go through the line, once you peel out to right there where you get to drink it, to the left right there, I know what my Starbucks, they got a little black can with a little silver bag and it's a free fertilizer on the can. Garden Twitter said, I like coffee grinds and garden. I've heard, heard you so, so you leaves or shred a paper with coffee grind to keep them warm. The worm life going, yep. And I want to know about it. I've heard people buy uh, cardboard and uh, shredded paper. No, I ain't heard about coffee ground with the worm. I've heard and I've seen cardboard and shredded newspaper. Everybody speaking. Jane Frank's cut. Okay, this one more use add to my 1001 use. <laughs> Nigga said, I don't drink coffee, but my daddy bring me his used coffee grind. Yep. I've got a whole bag of uh, coffee grinds and eggs for you that I got to take out to the compost. All right. This something that I used to have anxiety about when I first started doing YouTube videos. They garden look better than mine or my, my stuff don't look as amazing as everybody else's. I'm like, who want to watch my, my video when I... I'm harvesting collard greens real small of them people. You know, harvesting collard greens the size of their face. And you know what I finally said? I don't care. I'm getting, I get my grocery water getting good. That's how I do it. I don't wait till it get too big for something else to eat. So that comes with me. I don't care how your garden looks. I love looking at your garden, but I don't compare your garden to mine. My garden is unique because it's my garden. My garden should not look like your garden because that is your garden. But if I had anxiety about watching people's videos, I'm like, oh, my stuff don't look like that. Oh, my goodness. Do I really want to shoot a video about my garden? No, nah, I don't care. I don't care. If I kill some of my video, it, if some look good, I video it. I just video what I'm doing in the yard. I don't, I don't even try to get that deep no more. I mean, but stuff like that will give you anxiety. But it is what it is. Marion Lewis said, yes, 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 and yes again, the coffee grind. Oh, yeah. James said, yes, you can use cardboard and coffee worms. Just be sure the coffee is dry when you add it to the bin. Look at that. How are we talking? Work stuff out. James, proud of you. Let's get a good discussion going. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and they'll say, yes, I must admit, the one sneaks in, that one sneaks in sometimes. But, hey, my garden is mine. So, and especially if you make YouTube videos. it's whether everybody will admit it or not, they watch somebody's video like, oh my God, their collard greens are awesome. I don't even want to do a collard greens video now. Now, what you went on and did that video, that thought went through your head one time. <laughs> but it is what it is. We, we grow and we learn and we move on. LNL Honeycomb Homestead in the building. What's up, LNL? Huh? I heard a nigga say this before. Wait a minute. Nigga say I like my garden grows as young and tender. <laughs> Look, young and tender. That's a, but she got to say over the uh, southern accent. Accent, young and tender. <laughs> and he had a backyard garden. Say I'm not here for that. Looking at the grass green on the other side. I'm just here to share knowledge. There you go. Devin Gray said just do the collard green video. Big facts. Big facts. If you ever looked at one of my videos, I'm like, man, what is he doing? <laughs> That's one of the time I said, man, I don't care. I'm going to show what I want to show. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Odom's Hell Make a Homestead. Uh, that me not. Just started YouTube videos. I have anxiety every time I try to record a video. Okay. Let me tell you something about this. I don't know. Only thing everybody, I don't mind being on camera. That, that that don't bother me. But I was self-conscious about you know my gardening. I wasn't a great garden. I just started gardening. But look at it like this. That's your store. People like unique stores on YouTube. YouTube likes unique people. You can't be like somebody else and, and do good on YouTube. It's just what it is. 
People respect who you are and you being you. Fact. One of the greatest things I ever saw on a YouTube video, I saw Andale tell me a story and then go outside and start gardening. She, hey, she had me just like this. She was telling that good old story. You know how your auntie telling your story and you sitting there like, and then she said, I'm a garden too. Subscribe. It's it's just different. And it's just being you, man. I mean, can't nobody be microphone. You know, it's, it's what it is. That man is who he is. He don't try to be like nobody. He is who he is. People like him because he is who he is. You know what I mean? Just be you in the YouTube street, man. I mean, and it's way easier to be yourself than try to be somebody else at the end of the day. Because it's going to come to a point, no matter how successful you are, that you're going to regret not just being you in the beginning. Because it's only a few people that make money enough money on YouTube to quit their job. So most likely, you're going to be making YouTube videos that you don't like, and you still going to have to work a regular job. It ain't worth it. I'm just going to be me every day. I'm going to do stuff that you definitely don't agree with. But I like doing it because it's my backyard. And I'm going to video it. <laughs> 100 percent of the time. I'm just going to video it. Any other some uh oh looking at the grass green. Okay, I read that. I'm just here to share knowledge. And that's what we all are. LL, I'm doing good. We're just talking about gardening anxiety. When uh the spring coming around, people get anxiety about gardening, whether they admit it or not. They get anxiety, or oh, we talk about, you know, whether your seeds don't come up or not. You know, I was telling them I had anxiety about uh, comparing my garden to other people's garden. Um, people had anxiety about the bug, finding the bug, finding the heat, you know, figuring out the right time to plant stuff. You know, that's where we're so far. Oh, I was looking to come up at y'all. I got caught in that. Absolutely true. Oh, I was looking at what Sweet Spot had put in there. Absolutely true. We like the people as much or more than the garden. Exactly. We like hanging out with you, and it's a bonus to see your garden because we like gardening. But either way, we're going to talk about gardening stuff with somebody. Watching your video, we're talking about gardening with you. And we ain't got to leave our house. Uh, James Frank said, Odom, this thing is like wine. It gets better with time, so keep on keeping on. Bigger facts. Fatima Nash, I found, found out last night that I should have never put my elderberry cousins in the fridge. Oops, we're all growing pun intended. Yeah, just leave the elderberry outside because they need a uh, chill hour. Yeah. Just throw them out there and leave them. Elderberry... I've never heard of nobody killing an elderberry, to be honest. I mean, unless they put it in the fridge. No, you can't kill it in the fridge because they like coal out too. They need that. You know, I'm not even going to butcher that word. <laughs> but they need that cold time too. So, yeah, you just leave elderberries outside. But oops, we all grown up. But look, nothing died. It's all good. And the uh, cuttings, yeah, you good. But that's, see, and for team, that's the stuff right there that make great YouTube videos. You don't believe me? Yes. Make a video and say, I just, I just find out about, this about elderberry cutting. And you think that everybody know that. Everybody don't know that. It's some stuff I don't know. Y'all like, oh my goodness, you don't know that? That's all YouTube is. I did this today. Now, if 500 people watch your video, 400 of them might already know that. And be like, oh, that's still cool. But that 100 might be like, oh man, I didn't know that. You know what I mean? So just make the video. Uh... Let's 
can say that in there. Uh, Indiana Backyard Garden said, we begin away elderberry plants on my live 422 um, to celebrate her 1,000 subscribers. Congratulations. Everybody in the comments, if you don't mind, tell Indiana Backyard Garden uh, congratulations on 1K because 1K is a huge, huge, huge accomplishment in the YouTube streets. And congratulations for that because it's a bunch of hard work and you got them. That's what it's all about, setting the goal and putting in the work to get there. So super congratulations to you on that Indiana Backyard Garden. I got one more thing. Uh, everybody saying congratulations. Uh, this is something else I hear all the time. We in the water, you know. I don't want to overwater my plants. Put it in the grow bag. You can't overwater in the grow bag. I say it. Put everything in the grow bag. You cannot overwater the grow bag, but you can overwater real quick. So if you the type of person that overwater, put it in the grow bag. Can't go wrong. I'll put your finger in the soil two inches down. If it's dry, put some water in it. If it's wet and you put your finger in there and come out and got dirt on it, don't put no water in it. I don't know why that was such a big thing, but I've heard plenty of people say, I just don't know when the water. I get anxiety thinking of my, I'm overwatering my plants, so I'm underwater. That stresses some people out. Or get a moisture meter. Let me put this in the chat. I know I talk country, so I want to make sure everybody knows what this is. Y'all bear with my type slow. Hold on. Hold on. Moisture. Meter. Go on Amazon. Check out a moisture meter. You probably get an eight or nine books. But uh, don't get the two prong one. Just get the one prong moisture meter. All you do is stick it down in your soil. It tells you it's either dry, moist, or wet. You only water it on dry, or I do, or if it's real close to dry on the moist side. And there you go. That's the simplest way to know. You stick it all the way down, and I want to say that rod is about six inches, or four, four to six inches. Just stick the rod in there. Now, more experienced gardeners, yeah, they can just stick their finger in there. They know, hey, you need some water. Or they can look at how they plant doing and know they need some water. But the surefire way is go on Amazon and get your moisture meter. Stick it in there and get it. Uh, James say, I have one and it also reads pH, also $7. Now, I don't trust the pH one now. I don't think you can do, and I could be wrong. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't used them all. But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's a lot to ask for a moisture meter to do the pH. I've seen some that got the pH, uh, show the pH. I just don't trust them. And could I be wrong? Definitely. 100% could be wrong. I just I just don't trust it for that use. But I, but I know what you mean. They got the moisture meter and the pH meter on it. And he had a backyard garden. So use your finger. If you stick your finger into the knuckle, it's drier than water. Yeah. Yeah. But if you're a newer gardener and that don't work for you. The moisture meter is another way. The finger thing is a free way. You just got to make sure that you're going deep enough, your finger long enough. Oh, I think everybody knows it to the edge of the finger should be the same. I don't know. I don't know. But try the finger method or get a moisture meter. Marie's blending harvest. Hey, appreciate that super chat, Marie. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, do it. All right, what, what do I have? Uh, I think that's it. That, that's everything I had on my, uh, 
list to talk about. Now, well, this is a long, it's like a long statement here. Grand North Mom Garden said, I have I have used a pH meter before. It seemed like it worked because I put sulfur for my blueberry and it definitely showed a difference over time. Okay. I I heard awful stories about them. The one I had wasn't accurate about the pH. Janice W said, I have a moisture meter I use for my house plant. Yeah, I use a moisture meter now. I do. Because I am an overwaterer. Everybody got to be some. I will over. I will water something to death. Every time I pass by, I put my thing in there. I'm like, ah, I got to put some more water in it. <laughs> so the moisture meter tells my brain it don't need water. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense to everybody, but I stick that moisture meter in, and it says uh, moist is on the far side, which is uh wet and almost moist, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I need <laughs> that moisture meter to keep me from uh overwatering everything. And the grow bag help a lot because they have to be watered. But first off, I actually like being in my garden all the time. So I'm always looking for ways to make my plants work better. So yeah. Uh, the sweet spot said, what happened to the tree? Sweet spot. You ain't watch the video. Which, which tree? See, sweet sweet spot, there you go. Give me half of the information again. What tree you talking about? Can you put in the comment what tree you talking about, sweet spot? Uh, Jane talking to Game Nerd Mom. That's exactly why I got mine for my blueberries. Yep. Uh... Robin said, I couldn't fit my PH2 to read. I couldn't fit my PH2 to read. Oh, you couldn't get it to read pH on your tool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It might have been just the one I had. It didn't work for me, though. And they'll say, me too, bro. bro. <laughs> we are water. I'm going uh, I'm going to have to try that moisture meter. Yeah, I like water. I just love, feel like I'm taking care of my plant. So, it tells me Put the water hose down. That's what the moisture meter said. Put the hose down. Uh, Mike Farmer said, if you use fabric pots and some plastic, just try to pick it up. If it had weight, if it had weight to it, leave it alone. If light water the plants. Yeah. Once that uh, dirt dry, it's way water. I mean, way light. But if it gets to that point where it's super noticeably light, the plant probably dead. <laughs> if it's dead, but I don't know, though. I've never tried that, though. I don't know. That's a good idea. That's something good to keep up with. The New Orleans Gardener is in the building. The great, the living legend, T. Nog herself in her zone nine garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I overdid a little bit. What's up, T. Nog in the building? Glad to have you in here. All that homestead in the building. Say, I bought a moisture meter, but I haven't used it, used it yet. Yeah, I mean it worked for me. I mean, more experience gardening is it's it's rubbish to them because you know, like Indiana backyard gardener said, the finger tips work good for most experienced gardeners, but they work great for me. Michael Farmer said, check your plant every third day to be safe. Yeah, that's about the right time. Every third day. Can't go wrong. Now, now that we threw all the points that I had, spring gardener. What in your garden that you're going to plant this year for spring that you can't wait? And I mean, you can't wait to see that seed germinate. What's that one thing you can't wait to see germinate? Now, I've germinated just about everything. And uh, I plant everything out. But it was one thing I was super duper happy to see come up. And that was my Sodaki tomatoes. I heard turf rave about he got doing tomatoes. Oh, I got two of them. Uh, that potato cucumber that I got from Farmer Q and those Sadaki tomato seeds. Oh, I got three. And the leisure of uh, bell peppers that uh, T Nog was talking about on her channel. T Nog, leisure peppers, 
Uh, the Sadaki Tomato Turf was talking about in the uh, potato cucumbers and the lemon cucumbers. I got four and the lemon, lemon cucumbers. I'm excited for all of them to get growing. Those things I've never tasted before. I'm super excited to uh, taste those. I've never never had lemon cucumbers. Can't get them at Kroger. Can't get lemon cucumbers at uh, Kroger. Can't get sold docky uh, tomatoes at Kroger. Uh, potato cucumbers you can't get from uh, Kroger. You can't get lazy bell peppers at Kroger. I'm gonna put Kroger out of business, y'all. I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. If I keep growing like this, I'm gonna tell uh, Kroger kick rocks. Move to the next city. We got this. <clears throat> uh, the, 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 the. Uh, Ultimate Acre said, I am definitely watching the replay. These tips coming in hot. It, it's the community. Look here. If you start talking about something in the community, we don't talk about it. We're going to have a good discussion. Now, am I right? I'm probably right 47.96% of the time. But you know how right, how often the community is right? 99.98% the gardening community is always right. Tina said, I'm driving, but listening. That's cool. Uh, Mary Lewis, I have any of you gardeners had any success with purple beauty bell pepper? No success last year, but giving another try this year. Purple, what is purple beauty bell pepper? Is that lesbian bell pepper? Now, the ones I'm talking about are purple. I don't know. I grew um, green bell peppers and red bell pepper. I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at purple. Write that down. Because a lot of these seeds got different names for it, but it's the same thing. So I'm thinking purple beauty is a lazy bell purple. We'll see. You know, I'm going to Google it in a minute. Sweet spot to your tree. I don't understand what happened. Oh, uh, the video I did yesterday. Well, before I put the tree in the ground, it had got root bound in the pot. So even when I put it in the ground, now I'm talking about the uh, pink lady apple. Even when I put it in the ground, the roots kept circling because it was root bound. They just kept going around in a circle instead of spreading out. So the tree just got real big. But the roots stayed small, so it eventually died because it, it couldn't get enough nutrients through the roots to feed that long uh, shoot or I can't think of the name, but, but the, the tree. So it died. That was for the pink lady. The uh, the pocket tangerine, it was about three, three four reasons I died. Uh, I don't say I bought a moisture meter, but okay, I read that. Have you used it yet? Hey, always gardening prepper. Oh, no, see, oh, no, see, ain't here. Oh, Black's Tropical Bay. Hey, let me uh drop the link, Black Tropical. I want y'all to talk about the uh, the expo. Uh, Nice trouble. I'm dropping the link now. Uh, and Dale said, said always gonna go back in a bucket, the water that has worked well for me. So, wow. That's not a bad idea. Okay. I like that. That's thing outside the box. Oh, here we go. Sugar baby watermelon. Oh, yeah. I got a lot of watermelon going this year. I'm probably going to have to uh, grow some more. Ground cherries. I got that from T-Nog, too. I grew them last year. I got the regular ground cherries. Them things are delicious. They're like a 
like a yellow uh, wild plum, melon, all of them, bunch of onions, definitely. Especially with people who people who love onions and cook onions, ain't nothing greater than growing your own onion. Lemon cucumber. Oh, yeah, that's one I can't wait on, too. Uh, Yankee sister said, I had success with them last year in 6A. A little small could have been my mistake. Good info. Good info. And they'll say peas and cucumbers. Uh, I'm going to direct so Karabi is already sprout. Yeah, my Karabi always already turned to a bull. This is my second set of Karabi. Um, peas, I'm going to grow some striped strike beans just for the nutritional value for the soil once they die. But I'm going to eat peas too. And cucumbers, I think I got four different varieties of cucumbers out there growing. I'm really interested in growing cucumbers and zucchini this year. Jamaican sorrel. Everybody was talking about Jamaican sorrel, man. They were talking about delicious drinks you make out of them. All right. All right, fellas. Jane Franklin got a question. Anyone growing mushroom? Anybody in the chat growing mushroom? Brussels and cucumbers. I don't have no luck with Brussels sprouts, man. I don't, there's got to be something I'm doing. I don't know. I always run out of time because it get hot here fast. So, I don't know. There's got to be something I'm doing. Tainted crops that got to run. Have a blessed day, uh, everyone. Bye, cuz. It broke home. All right, Chef Pam, man. Have a good one. Glad you stopped by. Uh, sugar baby water, watermelon. I have one that has popped up. Wait, there you go. I saw it in the video. That's right. Uh, Odin half acre homestead said, My two in one chair, I plant a couple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My Stella chair is just all blossoming. I don't talk about that stair, Stella chair about four times already. Super excited. <laughs> Ultimate Acre at t -Nod. Sorry you had to cancel your Tuesday live, but it's giving me a chance to buy more notebooks and pens for note taking. So thanks. That's pretty cool. I, I got to make that pretty cool. Black is probably where you at. There you go. Limit cucumbers have germinated. We off to the racing. And I think I'm uh going to plant some more of those. Uh, I got some dragon egg cucumbers too, the little small ones. I think I'm gonna put out some more though. Oh yeah, and the uh that merchandise. Don't put that up no more. Yeah, we felt me and that person fell out. Like. <laughs> so I don't I don't do I don't deal with them no more. It ain't it, it wasn't them, it was me. Uh G Mama Grove said, uh I grew purple, beauty bell, purple, just sweet. There you go. Devin Gray said, I've not grown the purple, but I did grow the chocolate. Ooh, that sounds good. Chocolate bell purple. I'm write that down. I want some of them. Yeah. Mark Farm said, yesterday I seed my whole garden with all seed. Some before that time to see what happens like nature do. Exactly. And I'm going to tell you, somebody told me this. You can plant a seed any time and it'll come up when it's supposed to. Unless it's just snowing and below 100. Oh, I'm sorry. Introducing to all that who don't know this person. This is one half of Black's Tropical Homestead. One of the fruit tree uh, fusionados. And yeah, I butchered that word. Yeah, from country. Y'all all give a big round of applause for the one, the only, <laughs> Sherry. I've been called, look. You know how you've been calling somebody the wrong name for over for years? Look now, it's Sherry, right? Not Sheree. It, it's, it's, is it an echo with me? A little bit. Have, have I been butchering your name this whole time? No, it's Sherry or Sheree. It's not oh. a big deal, you know, with me because my mom called, called me Sheree, but everybody okay. else called me Sherry because we country, so... <laughs> And that's big facts. I'm definitely a country. Yeah. So now clean up this this bad talk I've been doing. I've been calling this the, the wrong thing forever and a day. I want you to set the record straight. 
where is this great event in Savannah? True name. Saw Family Expo. Now, do we put a year on that? Because if it's legendary, you got a year out there. Well, Super Bowl one, Super Bowl two. So we're gonna put some, we're gonna put some things behind it. Okay. In the years to come. Okay, we ain't gonna call it 22, 2022 version this year, right? We well, call it. we we do call it twenty twenty two version, but um, yeah, we got a lot of adding to do. So as time go on. So I know you and uh, your husband still getting everything. Nailing down them final detail, getting everything wrapped, sold, and put on the boat. But so far, what is some of the inf information you can give to these great people about the expo? All oh, right, let me pull up. Let me get this itinerary straight because God's construction in the building. What's up? I'm sorry. You know how. So we are hosting. See, the, now, first of, all, first of all, you know people know what they're doing when they say itinerary. Oh, remember that <laughs> word. Anytime somebody invites you somewhere and they say, well, this is an itinerary we're going to go through, you going to have a good time. I'm sorry, gonna have a good time. time. I mean, we were going to have a good time around the fountain. But, you know, I say God wanted other things, so he gave it to us. So, now we're going to have fun around town, but... um. We do have events planned from Friday, May 20th through Sunday, May 22nd. What they consist of is Friday, we will meet around the fountain downtown at um, Plant Riverside District. Everything will be in the itinerary. <laughs> so um, address, parking, everything is here. We will meet downtown at 6 p.m around the fountain saturday we will meet at yes sir now nah, you, you know old folk like me get lost is it is a is it a phone number on the itinerary so i can call you in case i get lost yeah you got my number you you I mean, won't I, get lost you're gonna be there I'm, I'm saying this in general <laughs> <laughs> we has got a you, number on them um not on the actual itinerary but We'll yeah, make sure you, but we got the email though. Yeah, yeah okay. you, got, you got the number, so you good. You won't get yeah, lost. I, I got the number. But, but, we gonna so. keep up. So we have Andale, you know, um, as one of our soil partners, and she'll she'll make sure nobody get lost. <laughs> so you should be. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Saturday. What's that? Got any questions? No, I'm all right. Okay. I think Bobby was going to come, but he won't fit on the screen. So you can either get <laughs> either or. You know and what? I know you ain't going to just see him like this. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, so Saturday, we will be at the Savannah Children's Museum where we'll have live edutainment which is entertainment no, see i mean scribble y'all get your head that's not when people hit live entertainment well like what, let me say we won't have strippers but you can bring your dollars because we don't mind tips so you can sing them dollars all day we're gonna pick them up we're gonna pick them up two seconds <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we'll be at the um, Children's Museum where we will have presenters and speakers. You know, our YouTube family will have live coverage from us, the YouTubers, which is a lot of us, and um, media coverage. You know, so it'll be good. And it's open to the public. So it's not just us entertaining each other. It'll be us entertaining and educating the town. Yes, sir. Okay. Look. Now, when she say it's going to be uh, news coverage, that don't mean y'all jump in front of the camera and say, hey, mom, look, <laughs> get right. This, oh, is, this is bigger than that. Stop jumping. Don't jump in front of the camera saying, hey, to your mom. Your mama talked to you two hours ago. Leave your mom alone. So you know, I, can't, I like doing that. Mama, I made it. 
<laughs> but you know, you know, people love the camera, man. They jump, look, the camera's for everybody. You know, get your, you know, get your smile together. Hey. And let the camera yeah. move on to somebody else. Don't hold the camera. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. I felt like I had Thank to say it. I say wear your merchandise. See this beautiful soil sister shirt? I mean, you can wear it. You can rep anybody's brand. But there you go. Broke Farmer. Because to me, that's your name tag. So if you are a content creator, I say wear your brand. Some people are not um, content creators, so they are just supporters. Wear one of your one of your content creators' brand. If you have a shirt or can purchase a shirt, wear it. Because to us, that's a name tag, and that stick out. You know, and it say, oh, okay, they part of this collaboration or this um, expo. So the purpose in this expo is to expose the world to growing, raising, homestead, you know, making your own. And we learn from each other. So why not teach the world outside of the virtual world? Definitely. Now, something else about this man. I say this earlier in the live. I don't know if everybody heard when I said it, but if you come to have fun, 136%, you're going to have fun. Oh, now, that, that's all we're about. I mean, that, that is all I could have fun on aisle six of Walmart playing spade on top of the tissue rack. I'm just telling you, I'm coming to have a good time. I'm going to be live as hell. Understand it. I'm going to be live because I'm super country, but we're going to have a good time. Now I'm gonna drink some wine. I'm not gonna drive. I'm not gonna drive. I got a room close enough where I'm in walking distance. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna drink red wine. I'm gonna talk a lot of trash and we'll have a good time. Well, so where you gonna get the red wine from? Because I may have to check with wet willies and see if they even serve red wine. You don't know me that well, do you? Oh, oh, yeah, I do. I do. You're my cousin, so I know you. I know you. I'm going to have it on my person. <laughs> that's, hey, that's the best way to get it. You don't have to pay those um, tourist fees. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, if, if they do have it, I mean, I can Google that. If they do have it, then I just leave it in the room. But have Stellar Rose wheel travel. You know what I mean? It's, it's like you can put wheels on Stellar Rose. You'll go anywhere. Yeah. And the good thing about Savannah is, you know, you can walk, you can purchase a drink and you can walk around downtown with it. So that's another thing I love about Savannah is you're not consumed to one place until, let me finish my drink or let me finish my food. You can grab food and sit on the river or in sightsee. Oh, look, I will ask you this. Uh, is, uh, is the Crab Shack still downtown? Um... Babe, is the Crab Shack downtown? I'm not sure. I'm I'm sure it is. If it was. I ain't in. been in a couple years. I'm sure it I'm, is. We love that Crab Shack. We love that Crab Shack. Is um, it Tuck or is it um? I want to say it's it, Joe's. Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah, Joe's Crab Shack is right on the river. Yes. Yes. Wait a minute. So you like? Joe's Crab Shack? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, maybe See, because we love right, eating crabs. Now, you want these people who live next to the water say, well, it's got to be authentic seafood, right? No? Huh? It's right next door to, to the river. It's got to be real seafood. I mean, authentic. Or oh, it's not fresh seafood. Which one? Nah. It's not? I don't, nah. Ah, you just killed it for me. Ah. I used to love that place. See, that's what you get. You get to talk about people who understand stuff and it just ruin your fans. You know the happiest man on the planet? A dumb, a dumb dude. He don't know nothing. He just had no I, I, I look, so here, I was all in Joe Crab Shack. Oh, this is super fresh. <laughs> I took my husband there. He was sitting across from me with a little leg, crab leg, and he was like, you going to waste your money on this? <sighs> In real life, we haven't been back since, but you know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. more. Now I'm gonna know better. Now I'm gonna ask y'all where to go with Diner this time. Unicorn later text said, "Have you uh played Spades at Walmart?" Yes. Yes. 
I, I knew a buddy that worked at Walmart, and uh, him and another friend. I guess he came out of the break room or somewhere, and they were talking about they just they just play cards on their eye. I play spade. <laughs> you want to play spade? I play spade. I don't care. Hey, look, I'm a weirdo. I'm a weirdo. Um, let me see. Now, all right. Now we Sherry gave her gave us her time. Now, if you are interested in coming to the uh, expo, put your question down in the, in the chat. Come on, let's talk about the expo. It's a good time for us all to get together. We got five minutes before we get up out of here. Yeah, we got some great people. Unless we got some good questions. We got some great people coming, so, you know, it's like a who? great time to oh, meet. Oh, that's right. Like, Your cousin coming. Pro, pro. pro. Our internet cousin. I mean, Ann Dale. Who doesn't want to meet Ann Dale? <laughs> Professor Q. Q. Blind guy. And his, his wife, wife, their life. Their life. We'll all be in the building. Fooled by faith. Woo, woo, woo. The hood stead coming from New York. Hood stead. In Savannah, y'all. Come on. In Savannah. We're going to have um, Vanita 16. You know, she support everybody. Shout out to Vanita 16 in the chat. Gonna be in the sunny city. Ken Folk Farm. Ken Folk down here in Georgia. Yeah. Um, who are best? Whoop whoop. Can't forget whoop whoop. Little McGrady, better known, aka Cuz O. Best yet, Journey. Yep. And we got plenty more. I mean, so many more. I'm trying to see. Ultimate, I can say, is Savannah Rick yet? What is Rick? Is Savannah Rick? Yeah. Hmm. Ultimate anchor. Put that in a different way. Auntie Ellen in the building. Look at Vanita. Vanita, so I would be there. I'm hanging out. Yep. Vanita is in the building. She'll be joining us for dinner. On that homestead. So that means we can meet up at Pensacola Beach. Pensacola Beach water? Let's meet up. <laughs> Oh, we'll be down there. What'd you say, Sheriff? We'll be down there to shop soon. Yeah, if y'all want to do, cause uh, originally they had one in Texas. Uh, they had one in Georgia meet up before. Fun mm -hmm. fact. Um, they have them everywhere. New York and you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, the Black's Tropical Homestead brought that to Georgia and said, "Yo, we can do it too in the sunny <laughs> city." No jacket required. Shoes are optional. You can, yeah. you can let dogs breathe. You can let the, let the dog breathe walking down the sidewalk. Put some flip flaps on and just flap your way to luxury if you want to. <laughs> what they say? You can see the water. You can see the water from down time. You can see yeah. a big ship going up and down. And guess yeah. what? That's a beautiful sight. I don't know this, but they used to have a honey shop. I love honey. They had a honey shop. They had different flavors of honey downtown strip. They had blueberry, uh, I don't know, orange flavor. Uh, I don't know if it's still down there, but I'm gonna look for it. Yeah, that's what I like. I like we, got personal, we got a personal connect with um Pruitt Homestead, and they do honey too. So Ooh, free honey. Now I got a buddy that got bees, but he ain't got. He gave me a little bit, but I ain't got enough to uh really say I don't have to buy no more yet. GG Naturals Homestead in the building said, Man, I'm so late. You ain't late, you right on time. We're talking about the Star Expo 20. I'm gonna put it 2022 on the sign good like that. Saw Expo, Saw Family Expo 2022. I'm not gonna butcher it this time. I'm not gonna butcher it. You got it. So I'm gonna be there. A lot of more cool people gonna be there. Look here, man. Get out your house. Get out your house. Oh my God. Yeah. Just, just yeah. For once. Let your hair down. Oh, it's time. Know. We've been cooped up long enough. It's time to get out. You can be safe and um and enjoy. Learn how to enjoy life in, in this new world. So we can right, guess it. what you can do. Check this out. Hey, Sheriff. That's it. That's it. Still work. <laughs> Still work. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, I mean, it's going to be a fun time. I'm going to have a good time. But what do other people want to go, Sherry? What do they got to do? Just email. email. Don't email Brooke Farmer because, you know, <laughs> email yeah. Black Tropical Homestead with no S. Or just leave me a message under one of our um, videos. And, of course, I, I'll get back with you. So, Can somebody is, put the link to uh, Black Tropical Homestead? And it is May 20th through May 22nd. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Maurice Blending Harvest said, me too. I'm not a country content creator yet, but goodness gracious, let me get another drink. Subscribe to all um, subscribe. Yeah. So anybody is, you know, we open the door for anybody because not only is it a teaching, it's a learning experience and you get to meet some of these people that's teaching you some of the things you need to know. So it's, it's a great place to meet and network and, um, when you do start your channel, we we already connected. We saw your family. Bam! Look, look at him. Uh, this this one of our cousins in Canada. I call him a uh, cousin Canadian in the building. And if y'all like this shirt, Canadian pride, get outdoors, design and put together this shirt. And look here, I'm not sure what that plant is, but it looks a lot like a tomato plant. And you know how you got both them like tomato plants. Am I selling these shirts? No, but it's a nice shirt. Shots out to Canadian Pride. Get out the door. Big guy. Big guy in the building. <laughs> <laughs> what up, bro? <laughs> Isn't that cuss? But first, man, now this is what I want to know now. Can you play Spike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I ain't, I ain't is is your mama going to be there? <laughs> but, <laughs> That's all you'll be doing if my mom come. <laughs> now, I'm just putting this out here now. If, if you think about sitting down at the spade table, I play spade for, for uh, bread and meat. If I don't win, I don't eat. So <laughs> I take it kind of serious. And the same way with the dominoes. But oh, we're going to have a good time, Bob. That's what I want to know. Oh, we're going to have a good time, Bob. Definitely. Most definitely. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do our thing. Now, I know you say you don't like that. You don't do a lot of dancing, but we're going to get up and do a little something. We ain't tussie rolling, though. We maybe a little tussie roll. We old enough to do tussie roll. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Look, all you got to do is, I know you said you can't dance, which I don't believe Not that. Late. So Not all late. you got to do is when nobody home, cut the music on, turn it all the way up, and get your boot scoop boogie on. Practice. Well, right, look, you just come out there and everybody else. Because <laughs> there's a few okay. people that can't dance. Now, in the 45 years I've been on God Green Earth, I ain't had I ain't caught a tune yet. <laughs> so you mean to tell me in my spare time, my free time, when I ain't nobody around, I'm gonna catch that tune. <laughs> it's probably like gonna happen. I'm just gonna but now nah, I'm gonna tell you like this now. I get two glasses of wine and you start you start it, it, it happened in, in small sections. I start doing this. I start grooving a little bit. <laughs> Uh -oh. Next thing you know, my shoulders start moving. There you go. Like, what are you doing? He finna dance? No, I'm just, I'm just in the chill, <laughs> But Savannah, yeah. may, let me tell you, once you spend a good weekend in Savannah and you see some of those dancers, and you get out there and dance, you are gonna be like, man, I shut the floor down. <laughs> I don't know, Quita, Quita might make you feel a little different, but. Hey, bro, yeah. if you follow me up enough, it's a you won't care whether or not you're catching a beat or not. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something I am going to do when I get down there. I'm mm -hmm. going to find a Home Depot or Lowe's because I believe that the Home Depot and Lowe's down there sell some stuff that I will don't. So I might have to bring a tree to my motel room. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how, that's how all of our vacations uh, will drive all the way to Homestead, Florida. And we'll end up with 30 trees in our hotel room until we check out. Mm -hmm. You talking about one tree? That's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> How about that being able to see out your windows on the way home? I bet. If I get lucky, I won't be able to see out my window coming home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's when you're on vacation. Dude, I'm driving my truck. I never went to somewhere to sell fruit trees and I'd be like, nah, I should have got more. No, I get all I want when I that's see right. it. That's I don't right. worry about that stuff there. 
Right. I know y'all are good people, but I'm gonna have to have one of these comments if y'all don't mind. So mm -hmm. can't say real player, real players be smacking the table when they whoop. No, I float, I float my cards out there. <laughs> but I throw it up like that, and it come down where it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> and if I am gonna smack, I take the last card you threw out and I flip it upside down on his back. And then I smack. I turn it over and smack. So, <laughs> so, so get that out of the way. Yeah, uh, real players their partners when they don't do right. I'm going to tell you who I, I believe can play Spade. And Dale. I just believe mm. and Dale be good play partner. I can see and Dale talking trade. But look, <laughs> now, we're going to get out of here. Uh, it, yeah, they put your channel link in. Uh, Black's Tropical Homestead channel link is you can go to their channels and leave them a uh, comment to get in touch with the email or y'all email in the description. But watch the video first. Don't go over to nobody's the channel and just be looking for the description and you ain't watch no video. Come on, don't be that person. That's blasphemous. <laughs> yeah, go over there, watch the video. If you like their style, you know, everybody ain't for everybody. But if you like their style, That's right. subscribe. If you don't like their style, hit the like button. And put a comment in there. That's what, that's what family do, right? That's right. That's but either that's way, right. go over there, hit them up, let them know, hey, I want to come. I want to have a fantastic loso time in Savannah with y'all. Tell them I don't want to wear no socks for two days. Tell them I want to play spade. I want to drink at Wet Willis. I want to go up and down the strip. I want to have a good time. I want to get out of my city. Tell them any of these things, and let's go with it. Let's party. Right. Have a good time. And you know, uh, who is that you say? It's Pate. Who, who was that? Is that Eddie Murphy? Pate. <laughs> oh, uh, you tell her I age. Who? <laughs> you tell her not age. You tell her not age. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of, yeah, I'm up there. I, ain't, I think that's kind of odd. Uh, and they'll just put y'all email address in, in there. And even yeah. if you do get that email, still go over there and watch the video. Go watch a video. They grow bananas in their backyard. Who else grow bananas in their backyard? One or two people. Well, how they grow banana? How they grow banana different than everybody else grow banana? How you gonna know if you don't go over there? That's all I'm saying. Go over there, right. check them out, see what they talk about. Look how cool they got sunglasses on with him. But look, <laughs> on y'all way down in Savannah, if you whoever going to the expo, stop by Rite Aid, get your good pair of sunglasses. Rite Aid got some good sun. Y'all look, I go, I shop at Rite Aid. Get you a right eight pair of sunglasses. It's gonna last for two days. When you come back, then you get a real pair of sunglasses. But if you go down and stop by right eight, right eight got some uh, good two day sunglasses. You get for like nine, ten dollars. Yeah, get you some sunblock too, cause you know I don't know what freeze was last night, but y'all keep that at home. Just bring the fun. <laughs> bring the what? Bring the fun. Leave the cold. Bring the fun. <laughs> Dude, all cold over down here. This, look, everything out there. I'm gonna take look. I got a few plans in here. Oh, everything going out though. It's a wrap. Everything. Oh, good. Yeah. And if it's good. Good. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, and look, I, I, what kind? What kind of plants y'all? Uh, what kind of fruit trees y'all got? Y'all home? Look, you know what? I'm acting too early. I'm doing oh, too much. Oh, you said what kind of fruit trees we got? <laughs> well, what y'all got? Too? Yeah. We got, lemon, we got lemon guava, strawberry guava, pineapple guava, about five different kind of um, fig. We got passion fruit. We got kumquat. We got orange, lemon, pink lemon, tangerine. We have Jamaican cherry, Barbados, Suriname, pineapple, lychee, loquat. What else we got? Banana. Ooh. I almost got a little quad the other day. It was forty-five dollars. I couldn't pull the tree. My bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little. Every strange. time I go to the store, um, broke man, they got a different little quad. They got a different variety, and yeah. I'm like, man, I need that one too. Yeah. <laughs> they but, had Japanese low quad. I I don't even think I heard Japanese low quad before. We taste a champagne and a sherry low quad. Ooh, champagne. Oh, good. And the low quads are bigger. Yeah, I'm looking for the um, what's to call it? Big, big gem. gem. It's it's a big, it's a big quad. low quad, big so, fruit like that big. Yeah, so I want that one. Have y'all heard of the Japanese low quad? Japanese, mm -hmm. 
Never I heard that. Got it. God, I see that. It was a ref. See, that probably was a real with you. Is we have what three Home Depot and three Lowe's all within 20 miles of each other, 20 minutes or so. It's crazy. Yeah. And that's the thing. I'm just, I hate getting fruit trees from there, but I love getting fruit trees from there. Because I can get a tree for twenty, thirty, forty dollars. I ain't got to worry about paying for shipping. I ain't got to worry about them with gas money because they local. And yeah. it's probably a year older. <laughs> so that's what we always say when we drive. We might drive six hours to West Palm, and we'll say, like, if you order this plant, which is about seven feet tall, off of whoever wish, you gonna get a little one foot starter plant. They probably won't even make it home. So we just rather drive, pick out what we want, and, and get all the plants we want. We save a lot of money. I, I think I'm going to have to start. Now, you know, uh, ISIS is in Georgia. Oh, yeah. Are they close? ISIS close to y'all? No, that's kind of close, close to y'all. Yeah, it's an hour 35 from us. Mm -hmm. Really? Which way? I, going this way or coming through, going the other way? Huh? Coming towards Savannah or going the other way? You and you you closer to the ATL area, right? No, I'm middle of Georgia. Oh, you're yeah, in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. He's closer to us. Yeah. So we're about three hours from ISIS. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm closer to y'all. Okay, okay. Gotcha. Y'all are only two and a half hour drive for me. Two and a half? What you driving? <laughs> A hearse? <laughs> a pickup truck. <laughs> like, look, look, first off, if you ever watch one of my videos, you automatically know I drive a truck. Come on. Really? Yeah. Is there anybody that think I drove a pickup truck? No, I was just thinking, you know, two and a half hours should be about an hour and a half, right? No, I drive super slow. It probably takes oh. me longer than that to get there. Man, okay. you know when you drive fast, you burn more gas. I'm trying to run out of that gas. You know how much gas is? Good loud. Yeah. Well, you ain't it. For I, record, it. I, mean, I mean, I might do 10 miles over or so, but that's it. Somebody don't have to buy gas, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I hand up the powder. <laughs> Package. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm just by nature, I'm a slow driver. I'm, you know, some people are offensive drivers and I'm a defensive driver. I'm, I'm going to drive for me, you, and the car over there. I'm watching yeah. everybody. You start swerving. I'm going this way. I don't think how, like you don't understand why I'm breaking if the car in front of me isn't breaking. But I see yeah. five cars up the road breaking, so I'm like, I might want to back off some. And he's like, What are you doing? People put their blankers on. I be want to tell the car, Hey man, he got a blank on. I wish I could just <laughs> let him know, Hey man, watch, he got a blank on. <laughs> but look, y'all. Yeah. We ain't gonna hold these folks up. I appreciate y'all coming up. These are the Blacks Tropical Homestead. Go check them out. See what they're doing. See what they're talking about. Take them bananas in the back. And they got a video about the bananas. I saw it. Y'all go see it. So mm -hmm. I'm out, y'all. I've enjoyed my Sunday. Thank to all the moderators that moderated today. They made this uh, live very easy to get through. Um, thank you for the, the humble guests that I had that came up here and gave some good information. Thanks to everybody in the chat that put in the uh, put in the comment because this is what it's all about having a discussion. I can't have a discussion if I'm the only one talking. I don't know enough <laughs> to have those type of discussions. We have to have an interactive discussion so we can learn from each other to get better. Let's That's just right. how it goes. I'm not at the point that, that, that come on here and teach you 15 good points. That ain't what I do. But I can bring up some good topics and have some good, honest, and open conversation. And if you get a chance, come to the Soil Expo. It's a good chance for people to interact, people they've seen on YouTube that they think got a good vibe. Well, come say hey. Just say hey. Don't be weird about it, though. But come say hey. Let's have a good time. <laughs> I ain't nobody bigger than nobody else. We all human beings. Let's treat yeah. each other how we want to be treated, and let's have a good time. You know what I mean? Throw all this other stuff out. Dude, I'm trying to have a good time. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. I want to see Bobby doing the tits roll in the middle of wet wheeling. That's what I want to see. You know what I mean? Now, once I see that, I'm not going to take a picture of it because I like Bobby. I'm not going to video that. I'm gonna enjoy Don't that. take a picture. Video it. No, Don't take I'm, a picture. Video it. I'm not going to video Bobby doing the tits roll because that's going to be in my head forever. Bobby <laughs> type. The, the the good thing about us is we don't get in our feelings. We we love that type of stuff, so we don't mind. Catch them tootsie rolling. No, that's not what we do. Cause Bobby, I catch them. Bobby, my family. I ain't, look, anytime I see a two hundred and fifty pound man doing a tootsie roll, what? I'm a yeah. I'm a well, more or less. Two fifty. Two fifty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make you look slim, baby. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm oh, looking. Slim. I'm, I'm working oh, on it though. Oh, he's not counting this part that he can't see. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I would. Okay. <laughs> I was. I, was. <laughs> I thought I, I was in the ball part, but I'm not in the ball part. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all come up and y'all see how we laugh or not. Come up and have a couple laugh with a man. So as I'm at y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all time down there, and I'll see y'all soon. Broke Farm and the Black Tropical Family, we out, y'all. <laughs>